here at Google, we do an amazing job of pulling huge amounts of data and slicing and dicing and pulling insights out of those and then sharing those with our partners. But something I think we can do a better job of and something we're moving towards is actually giving a tool to our partners that allows them to ask those questions directly, pull out the insights in a way that actually looks beautiful and is actionable right from the get-go. So enter the consumer barometer. So to do this, we partnered with TNS, and we did over 400,000 online surveys in 56 different countries, asking different consumers and users the questions that you guys all had. And we bucketed these questions into three main categories. The online and multi-screen world, so asking consumers, how do you interact with brands? Is it on your desktop, your tablet, your mobile phone? Are you watching television while going online, streaming through Instagram? Or are you reading a newspaper on your tablet in bed before you go to bed? Because we want to best know how to interact with you. Also, a smart viewer. So now at YouTube's over a billion users. We want to know how people are actually engaging with that content on YouTube. So that you, our partners, can obviously reach them there. And finally, it's smart shopper. So like Julia said, in Germany, are they buying one pair of shoes after reading three or four reviews online? Are they going into a store, seeing a pair of shoes, and then buying it afterwards at a cheaper price? What's important to them when they're going through this purchasing process? So we're hopefully bringing those answers to you guys with this tool. We, act, we actually dive in deeper into 20 different product categories so you can actually see what type of products people are looking for in these markets. I know a lot of us have a lot of questions, and we'll answer some of those today, but I'm sure there's one question that transcends the globe, transcends verticals. I'm going to tell you we can answer that right here. And I probably don't even have to say the question. You're all thinking it. But the question is, what percentage of women in Spain, ages 44 and under, use their smartphones for product research? I know you're all thinking it. so. You're welcome. We're going to answer this right now. So what better way than jumping in the tool? And this is a completely external tool. And it's also mobily optimized, so you can actually follow along. I don't have much time, so I'm going to go through this quickly. So if you have fast fingers, follow with me. So if you go to consumerbarometer.com, and this is completely external, so feel free to bedazzle your friends and family. Uh, click over on the, vert on the mobile device. It'll be a vertical scroll, so it'll be the top option, the graph builder. And then it'll bring you to this page on mobile. Obviously, we're interested in Spain, so we'll select the country. And then we want to go over to the left-hand side where you see questions and filters. We'll start with the questions. And we're obviously interested in the smart shopper and then research behavior. And we want to know what devices are used for research. So here we know that in Spain in total, 24% of users will use their mobile device for research before purchasing a product. Great to know, but not the question that was on everyone's mind. So we jump over to filters, go down to demographics, and we say, hey, we're only interested in the women in Spain. Over to gender, select female, and not just all the women, 54 and under, or 44 and under, excuse me, And here we have 33% of women in Spain, 44 and under, use their smartphone for product research. And this is literally a beautiful graph that you can screenshot, put in a presentation, bring to the marketing team. And this is a type of insight that you'd have to go and actually interview people in Spain or have a local partner in Spain that will help you pull this. And I did it in two seconds. So this is an amazing tool. I, if you say, hey, that's great, that's a great insight, I can bring that to the team, but what else can this tool do? One, I'd say play around with it, get back to me with any questions. Uh, but there are some, some more advanced features for the, those of us in the room who have used this tool in the past. For example, if you want to look at, and you say, hey, I want to know if a smart shopper, or sorry, a smart viewer, what motivates someone in Spain? What motivates them to actually watch this YouTube content? Because we have this great spot on YouTube, 
and we're pushing it out there, but we want to know when someone's viewing it, how are they feeling? What's the purpose that's drawing them to YouTube? Because we want to actually tell a brand story that connects with them where they're at. So this, instead of sending your team to the streets of Spain, interviewing people on the go, uh, you can actually see right here, 39% of the people want to be entertained, inspired. Almost a third just want to relax and escape. So if you're trying to push this brand message of like, go, 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 adventure time is now, maybe not the best option here. So these are the types of insights that we can, we can bring to the table with this tool. Uh, play around with it. See how deep the rabbit hole goes.